Hey San Hey, I am Pixel Pia. Today I want to introduce you to Google Lens. And my question is will Google Lens change how we search by using images? But first things first, where do you find Google Lens? If you use an Android phone, I suggest that you download the app. That's where we have the most possibilities when it comes to Google Lens. But Google Lens is also built in on the web. And if you have an iOS phone, you can use either the Google app or Google Photos. Today, we're gonna start on the website. Since I'm doing this at home, I will utilize some photos from the web to show you. And I will show you how you can use Google Lens when you are looking at images on the web. So let's move over to my computer. So here we are on Google search and I searched for Chinese tattoos. Now let's take a look at this tattoo here. If I right click on that image, you see we have search image with Google Lens. And it opens to the right here. And the first thing we have is search. And we can see similar images. Then we have text. And you see it marks the text here. We can select all text. We can do a couple of things. We can listen to it. We can copy the text, we can translate it, and then we have the search again. The third thing we can do, if there is text in an image, is translate. And I'm not sure that this person got the tattoo he really wanted, because this translates to baby boy. We can copy it as I said, and when we copy it, we can open a document here. Let's go to Google Docs and by right clicking, I can paste it in here. Baby boy. When we use the app on the computer, we can use photos we already have on our phone or we can take photos using Google Lens. And now I want to show you all the different things you can do. I said that if you have an Android phone, you can use the app. But what if you are on an iOS? Well, in iOS, you can use it either by downloading the Google app or the Google Photos and search that way. But now we're going to talk about the app. Google Lens. So here you can see my phone screen and here is Google Lens. So I open it. So here you have a photo I have taken and this is of my little noon. So the very first thing I can do here is to use the search function and it will show similar photos as you can see down here. I can also, by sliding to the right, go to shopping. And here we have visual matches where I can buy them. So if you see something out somewhere and you are interested in buying it, you can use this as well. I can also, if I pull up here, you see at the top here, add to your search. Say that I want to find something light in Snoom, but in another color. So I write green right there. And as you can see, all of a sudden, a lot of green little gnomes pop up. Here is another picture I have. This is from a fortune cookie. So let's go to text here. I can select all the text. And now, as you can see, I can copy the text. I can copy to computer. And since I have my computer running, I can copy from here, select my computer that is 
up and running and logged in to Google. And when I go back to my computer in a couple of moments, I have it as the latest saved in my copied text and I can open a document and paste this in. I can listen to the text. There are two ways to shine. You can be the candle or the mirror that reflects it. And I can translate it. In this case, I have it set to translate from English to Swedish. So here I have the translation. This can be useful if you are on vacation and reading a sign. If you are at a restaurant and need to translate things on the menu. Now we have a section called homework. I go to images. If I had a math book at home and I were doing, trying to solve a math problem, that would be the way I would do it. I would take a photo. So let's pick one here and let's take a photo, a screenshot. Go to homework. And here we have websites where we can find the solution to this problem. I already showed you shopping and we have two alternatives. They won't work in this case, but if I need search for a place. And the last one is dining. As you can see, tap a menu item or ingredient so to see photos and more information. I hope you found this interesting. As I said in the beginning, I know that Google Lens has changed my way of searching the internet using images. Until next time, hey Doa.